Live, die, repeat. It's like real life, because you die every time you go to work. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Edge of Tomorrow, otherwise known as Live, Die, Repeat, otherwise known as All I Want Is Kill. This is a movie that came out in 2014 that did not get as much acclaim as it should have. And it's unfortunate because this is actually a very, very good movie. It's based on a manga, if I'm correct, which is pretty decent, considering a lot of people have this big aversion to anything Western touching a manga, which is understandable because a few times they've screwed it up. Ghost in the Shell, that movie isn't horrible, it's just very horribly boring. And obviously Death Note, they really screwed that up. Edge of Tomorrow is a movie that failed only in its title because the producers didn't like the idea of it being called All I Want Is Kill. But then the film actually did really good with its home release rebranding with the Live, Die, Repeat in big letters. You don't even really remember that this movie is called Edge of Tomorrow because it's such a stupid title. The film follows Tom Cruise, who is a inexperienced PR guy from the military who is thrown into this war and dies then comes back over and over and over. What he's found out is that he's going through a Groundhog Day-like scenario, but in a war zone. And every time he dies, he gets better in the craft of warfare, but he also starts to connect more with Emily Blunt's character, otherwise known as the Full Metal Bitch. Their chemistry in this film is good for two reasons. One, the actors work really well together. And two, while the film does not show you every single scene that they are together, because Tom Cruise probably dies around the something of a thousand times, probably even more in this entire movie. But the film is able to portray their relationship, portray his advancement, and portray just how far along they've gotten along in the story in their own quest in a way that works amazingly well. And that is done with fantastic writing and fantastic editing. This film is able to portray the idea that Cruz has gone through this so many times, but the film doesn't physically do it, but it shows you it. It shows you it with his skills, it shows you with his interactions it shows it with every time he dies and i enjoy the movie so much for that because it's able to give so much in a story that usually would be needed for a mini series or a tv show but this film is able to contain so much story in such a small finite amount of time but doesn't make it feel overloaded it doesn't make it feel silly it's actually really entertaining and funny this movie has some fantastic action sequences and what's funny too is you take it seriously despite the fact that they're in these big weird manga mech suit things but this movie came out just before call of duty advanced warfare so maybe that's why they were able to be cool with it i love the performances i love the story, I love the concept. And on a side note, this film gives you a strong female protagonist without forcing it in your face, which it seems Hollywood can't do anymore without having to shove it in your face. Emily Blunt's character is so good, we learn so much about this person, despite the fact that we're only really ever getting a single day of knowing her. But as I said, the film just articulates all the different layers of her character so well through her interactions or various interactions with different Tom Cruises because he keeps on dying and repeating the same process but changes it up. In the end, I think this film is something that should be definitely watched, not just by sci-fi fans, action fans, but story fans too. It has a great story, it has a fantastic climax. It has two great leads as well as a concept that doesn't feel overused. It doesn't feel like just Groundhog Day but in war. It feels like its own little concept and I feel that this film definitely deserves a lot more acclaim than it does. They've been talking about making a sequel for a really long time and I don't really know if it will happen and two if it should because the film is pretty darn good as itself and I don't think it needs anything else because all you would do is just repeat it again and you'd also have to use that terrible moniker Edge of Tomorrow again which this movie has thankfully moved away from entirely. I think that anyone that talks about it they just call it live die repeat but in the end i'm gonna give edge of tomorrow a seven out of seven i rewatched this just recently with my roommates and i enjoyed rewatching it so much it was like i was watching it again for the first time in the theaters and it was a really good movie definitely probably one of the best movies of 2014 at least for me anyways guys that's all for me hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.